In the esteemed Yoshihara estate, a fine dinner is being prepared, and finer guests are being welcomed. <laughs> oh, what an interesting tale, Junya. To think you'd be caught up at the gate so long. Yes. It must have been quite embarrassing, though. I do, do wish that perhaps security could speed up a bit in their daily checks. Yes, indeed. I order so much from abroad, and it always takes so long to pass the gates. <sighs> well, it was... It was a dust-up of my own making. It seems I'm begrudgingly tolerated in the city now, but I feel the judging eyes around every corner, underneath every palm frond, from every window sill, inside of every meat pie. <laughs> 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 he walks up and takes a seat and uh, turns to face you. Yes, yes, the abhorrent stares of the jealous and those guilty of misinterpreting your desires and wanting to see you distraught with exile. Junior, I understand why you would feel so insulted, so outcasted. Well... I shall simply have to endure it for the moment. Regrettably, I haven't the time to stay in the capital to clear my name and settle things with our dear Emperor. Oh no? But... You're quite busy? Indeed, indeed. I am on a journey of great import to all of Raoji. My, our great scion of the clan, always so busy with important matters. I appreciate your initiative, Junior. You are my favorite cousin. Uh, and, and of course, you are mine, Kazuya. Tell me, how fares my noble mother? Oh, uh, your mother does wonders right now. She's handled the affairs of the Yoshihara estate quite beautifully. Honestly, it's... it's rather impressive. She has handled the job so well. Ah, uh, your mother is like... like an esteemed flower. Oh, how fitting to know the gardener of the great... Mm, the great capital is also, in her own way, a beautiful flower. She does our clan justice. Yes, it's very poetic. He's, he looks over <laughs> his shoulder at uh, at the tables out here. So, what uh, what will we be dining on? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, we have an assortment of fishes and foods from all over the. Actually, it's interrupted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, she puts down the a tea set. Oh, splendid, Junior! Please join me for tea while we wait for dinner to be assembled. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, indeed, in accordance with our clan's great traditions, we begin with tea, we end with tea, often tea is in the middle as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Ah, uh, but would it truly be considered our dearest family tradition if not accompanied by a story? Ah, you know me too well, cousin. I'm... I'm sure any any of the fascinating adventures that I have lived these past few weeks could make a fine tale. But perhaps the most appropriate would be the bit of business that we took care of mere days ago on our way to the capital. My compatriots and I had... A tense confrontation with Psycho, the Scholar oh? Blade. He raises a, a finger up to his uh, lips to, to stop his it's just exaggerated gas. <gasps> Psycho, the Scholar Blade. My goodness, Junior, you are you are inter 
You've just encountered so many interesting people as of recently. I've heard of you encountering the Rat God back when I went to take over in Herano, and now you've gone from that to meeting the great scholar Psycho. I truly say, Junior, you are one who is marked for great things, like a beacon, a magnet for those of greatness. Hmm. Well, I try. Oh, oh, but you succeed. Please, Junior, regale me the tale from start to finish. This Psycho, the Scholar Blade. Indeed. Well, it all began a few days ago as we approached his formidable and yet beautiful estate. <laughs> Only a few days ago, down a lonely, winding trail, we approached our destination, a place equal parts wondrous and terrifying, the abode of Psycho the Scholar Blade. The road was... The road was... dusty, almost painted upon the ground in strokes. Indeed, it was like something out of fine art. It was a magnificent and yet earthy experience. I first set foot upon the ground. I... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Drifting lazily like a bud on the wind. It was a fine day. The wind was blowing through the trees. The cherry blossoms were somehow still in season. <laughs> His banners flew on the flags, and I knew this was no ordinary man we were to meet, that this would be a day that would change all of our lives, for better or for ill. Nothing, nothing less than our destiny lay in front of us, and so... We began our journey, first to join me on the road, my erstwhile long-time companion, the Lady of the City. <laughs> <laughs> her scarf trailing behind her, like so many jellyfish tentacles. <laughs> she, she looks, the light catching in her eyes. Those beautiful stars that dance behind her visage, what do they mean? Are they perhaps looking to the future or the troubled times of the present? <laughs> Junia, wait up. <laughs> she runs up. I'm concerned about you, my lord. Being out here amongst all this wildlife, it must be. Her eyes glimmer. So harsh on you. <laughs> oh. I feel it every day as the world attempts to assert its own form over my perfect complexion, but <laughs> I re I assure you, my dear, no dirt will ever stain this visage, for it is kept clean and pure by the friendship you have shown me. <laughs> she begins to cry on the spot. This happens near daily. <laughs> <laughs> of course, also at my side, um, a recent addition to my circle of friends, yet far from the least important. The very heart and soul of our team, a man whose aged guidance has proven invaluable throughout the years, a man whose very existence is like something out of legend or perhaps out of poetry. I speak, of course, of Buru Okiyama. <laughs> yes, we should probably press on very carefully, my lord. Guru, my oldest friend, have you... Please, ha let, ha take a cup of tea for the road. It's been nearly five minutes since we last stopped. I'm, I'm, I'm far ahead of you, my lord. As uh, Buru pulls out a large pot of tea and begins pouring a uh, glass for each of us. 
<laughs> Shell looks down at the cup, uh, at the pot of tea. Buru, are you putting brandy in your tea again? Heavens, I've never done such a thing in my life. <laughs> 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 Junya lightly whaps him on the shoulder. Oh, Buru, you rapscallion. <laughs> oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, goodness. But look, hark, the sun. It has nearly reached its zenith. We must make haste down this painted road if we are to set our eyes upon Psycho's keep ere nightfall. <laughs> <laughs> like how our stories take place at different times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my lord, might we hold hands? Oh, I would like nothing more, my friend. <laughs> of course. Of course, as we set off down the road, um, our steps were shadowed faithfully and valiantly by my constant companion. Perhaps... Not my oldest friend, but maybe my closest. My my bosom companion. My boon stalwart squire. Hideo. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Ah. ah, it is a fine day today. <laughs> Hideo, my apologies. Uh, he steps aside and ushers Hideo to take his rightful place beside the Lord. <laughs> oh, Buru, you're too kind. Sho watches on with envious eyes. If only I could be that pillar of support for my Lord. <laughs> Hideo stands proudly, proudly, uh, uh, proudly amongst all of his friends, but especially his Lordship. <laughs> Hideo, I, I trust you have completed today's poems, which you will recite as we travel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so he did. <laughs> Such a great like honor. Like <laughs> autumn's early day, everything got better. How many trees... <laughs> Are there? <laughs> Show watches on. Their bond is so tight. They've been like this since uh, early childhood, you know. This continues on for three episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how many trees, indeed? Who could claim to know the sum of trees in this land, or indeed the world? Who could claim to know the world to such a degree? Who, but one who understands? The beauty of the soul. Hideo, that's you. They share, a, they share a long look at each other's eyes. <laughs> oh, uh, Hideo blushes. M my lord. <laughs> Junior, forgive my insolence, but I have a question. Yes. He uh, looks to you, uh, dazing, drinking on some tea. I must know. Um, as as he does that, you kind of peek over to the side. You notice that the uh, the two maids have begun setting out some food on the table. <laughs> I excuse me. I I simply wish to know. You spoke much of the way the dirt brushed across the floors mm -hmm. of the world. Yet I am curious. How was the grass? <laughs> uh, you see, the grass too was as if painted stroke by stroke upon a canvas by a true master composing his life's work. The morning dew caught the sunlight, reflecting off of every droplet and off of my companion's starling eyes as we gazed longingly towards the horizon. Ever onward in our journey did we travel. The wind whistled through the trees, carrying petal song and sense. The bees, somewhere in the background, went about their business. Making honey, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Junya, your way with words rivals the greatest poets in all of Raoji. I can simply see and smell the entire sight of this castle from your descriptions. Ah, oh, the castle! Oh, the castle itself! 
a true marvel, lined on every side by picturesque green tents. <laughs> <laughs> My companions, there it is. Our journey is nearly at an end. It is more lovely than I imagined. It was positively spectacular. A simple step on the path to glory. With all this that Psycho has before him, how, how could he have fallen to evil? Indeed, how could such beauty have turned to such ugliness? <laughs> we must learn of his heart, my friends. We must do what we can for him to restore what is right, just, and beautiful to this land. It cries out for us to help. Can you hear it? <laughs> <laughs> well said, Junior. <laughs> a voice from over here. An individual. A lion man smoking a pipe of some sort. Ah, fresh faces upon this land. Come, friends. Sit around the fire with me. We have much to discuss. Yes, let us accept his invitation. Hmm. Might I suggest we be careful, though, my lord? <laughs> Uh, Sho, Sho grabs Buru's arm. He, he's striding forward so confidently, but he must, he must know this is a trap, right? You see that Buru is shaking, but our young lord is so brave. <laughs> we must be there for him. Or maybe, maybe this is all part of his plan. She looks over, his glittering hair catching on every little gust in the air. Mm. Junia, even to this day, I still underestimate you. He strides forward, confidently and serenely. <laughs> How may we know you, my friend? You may know me as Diabon, the dandy dying lion. <laughs> <laughs> he snaps his finger, four pillows appear upon the floor. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're too kind. Ah, Junior, please take the seat closest to me. Oh, if you insist, my lord. Would you perhaps be in the service of the lord of this castle? That I am. I come from far off lands, unseen by even the most traveled of Raoji. Yet today I found myself in the service of this man Psycho, for his goals are truly unique. And yet, he is a man fraught with many dire issues. Indeed, He I... seeks to change the world, and yet, the world does not want to change with him. I mustn't... I mustn't let my heart be fully taken in, but I want to believe that he's doing what he thinks is right. Oh, and what of all you? What do you think of those who travel their true paths? Show, show grips her sword very intently. The only one fit to seize the reins of history is my lordship. Yes, quite. I couldn't agree more. He stops, putting down his uh, pipe for a second. You truly think that? <laughs> Yet, history is full of individuals who have been sought to seeking the reins. <laughs> so, tell me now. Are you saying that truly there is no man who has ever been as great as your lordship? As this Hideo... No, wait. <laughs> he changes the scripts out! Hang on, hang on, hold on a fucking second. <laughs> Looks at the script. Are you... No, fucking typos. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that throughout all of the history of the world there has never been one quite like Yoshihara no Junya? Sho starts to say something, but Buru stops her. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly shakes his head. You see he is shaking with fear. <laughs> My lord, all I can tell you is to listen to those who have chosen by their own wills to follow me, for it is they, not I, who measure my worth. He looks to Hideo. <laughs> tell me... <laughs> My oldest friend, my loveliest servant, what is it 
that you see in me. I see. I see a brighter tomorrow. I see... I see no more frightening, uh, frightening evenings with with demons at bay and and monsters attacking through the course of the evening. I see a morning where we can all wake up and we can smile at the sun-dewed ocean-like grass. I see... I see a better tomorrow. <sighs> Damn. Hideo! <laughs> Junior! <laughs> they, they embrace... Oh. You know it's only with the strength that all of you give me that I'm able to keep striving for that better tomorrow. And so you see, my lord, we cannot afford to be stopped here, not for the sake of this future that we will build with our own hands. <laughs> oh, I've heard those words before, from the man in that castle. You see, you and him are not quite different after all. <gasps> of my immense powers and my great wisdom, I would indeed escort you inside to meet with my master. However, however, I would require you to sit back down, for I shall not choose between my masters solely off of their words, but also their actions. And there is no other great combatant of a person's skills, wit, and ability than the most ancient form of combat known to man. He snaps his fingers, and suddenly, something appears in front of him. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. <laughs> Let us create the universe on this board. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I've assembled a game in progress. For this was the last game played by the legendary Takioka and Hongoji. <laughs> I have given you the losing side of this arrangement, right before the final blow was struck. Of course, the game went on many moves after, but this was the turning point. Can you create a different existence? Can you change time and space itself on this board, Mr. Yoshihara no Junior? Son? <laughs> <laughs> Sama? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, to recount the entire game, I suppose it would only be fitting to relay each and every stone that fell upon that board. Indeed, a true telling of this story would be unjust if I didn't... Hmm. He reaches over and turns the, the pig on the roast fire. The sense of the smell just drifts up to your nose. Uh, cousin? Yes? Junior? Well, I... I... Um... Goodness, there is so much more to tell. I can't help but notice that more dishes are appearing on the table, and as you can see, I have drained my cup. Perhaps oh, this would be- Oh, of course! But do not worry, it's all out there yet, and, and cousin, absolutely, I do not mind, do not fear for me, I do not mind waiting for the story to be done to eat, as is tradition, I would never ordain to forego our family's tradition of finishing a story with tea. It would be truly discourteous of me, for you coming all this way, for me to disregard your story for food? I could never, Junior. <laughs> Junior quietly, like, taps his fingers together. I expression on the pog, but <laughs> behind, behind his eyes there's <laughs> displeasure. Of course, cousin. I thank you humbly for the courtesy you afford me this day. I'll pour myself another cup, then. <laughs> Where was I? Yes, um... Recounting every move of our game, <laughs> for the story would not be complete without it. Well, um, yes, yeah, so we sat at the board, 
uh, two masters staring one another down, ready to determine their fates by the fall of the stones. Um, his cat-like features <laughs> distracted me. Um, I, I, I may have in fact played a few mistakes in the course of <laughs> our game for how how he was he putting me off but um in the end uh of course with a decisive last minute turnaround i managed to seize the advantage at the end of the game in spite of i i couldn't help but feel that in spite of his honeyed words there was Something fishy. Something unusual. <laughs> wow. And, uh, indeed, it appeared that while he had promised me an honorable game to measure our strengths, that he, at the last moment, attempted to win using underhanded tactics. He, uh, he, uh, your cousin stops you. Oh, truly. What sort of underhanded, unfair game did he attempt to play on you, cousin? Ah, you wish for me to describe it in every last detail, I take it. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Your descriptions are so vivid and wonderful. I simply wish to know. Well, the stones hit the board like stone upon wood. Um... <laughs> And, uh, in a moment of, uh, in a moment when I was distracted by my companion's radiant beauty, in a moment when I could tell that each and every one of them <laughs> was, uh, <clears throat> I could... I could tell that uh, each and every one of them was wishing me on, but as I turned my attention from the game to my beloved Hideo and his tender, supple features... <laughs> my lord, is there something wrong? <laughs> you see, he is, um... He is one of the, uh... The hawk's chosen, and so, um, <laughs> he... His, his wings were very... <laughs> anyway, I turned my attention back to the board to discover a stone had been moved, and in a, in a <laughs> fury, I immediately cut the blackguard down for cheating and disrupting our game. <laughs> immediately bringing our game to a swift unforeseen but very decisive conclusion and allowing us to move speedily onward towards the resolution of the situation. <laughs> hmm. You turn around to face your good friend, your old wizened man, Buru. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, um... That, uh, it seems they brought out the rice. <laughs> and the skewers as well. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> but we've got all the time in the world. Oh, um, Junior, that was a positively delicious victory. Yes. <laughs> yes, my friends. Let's per let us perhaps perhaps my lord, if I may be so rude to interrupt, it may be prudent before the final battle for us to sit and enjoy this pork that he has left for us. <laughs> and we did. It was... It was mouth-watering. The taste was quite unlike anything I'd ever experienced. Ah, yes, my lord, I feel most sated. Indeed, yes. It's never wise to confront such a formidable foe on an empty stomach. Nor indeed to undertake any task of great import on an empty stomach. Yeah, unless you wish to pay the rice. Oh. So we um we proceeded along to 
the front gate of the castle, where its master, Psycho, would surely be waiting for us. Stepping around some entirely unimportant and nondescript obstacles in the road to be sure. <laughs> As you, uh, you step out, uh, a man uh, appears on the balcony and stares down at you. Ah, I see. So, it is Junior. Yoshihara no Junior, of course. I've heard many things about you and your family. And these are your excellent friends. Yes, they're all well done. They're very good. <laughs> <laughs> Buru Barbecue, Hideo Turkey Flank, and Show Ramenade. <laughs> <laughs> Show makes the indistinct slurping noises in the background. <laughs> yes, we've come. If you continue. On your present course, we will have no choice but to cast you down, Scholar Blade Psycho. <laughs> well, I'd love to see you try. Come, face me inside, Junior. <laughs> he uh, swiftly turns around, disappearing back inside, his curled, luscious hair blowing behind him. <laughs> as he as he opens the door and steps back in, there's like a of steam out. Mm, I think that's curry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my lord, we best curry. <laughs> Wait, Junior, please. <laughs> what did this man look like in Mordito? The legendary Scholar Blade Psycho. I've never seen him. Please inform me of this man's excellent appearance. I heard he was quite the dreamy one. Yes, well, um... An exhaust. He sees the pies being put. An an extensive uh, description of him. Um, he stood on the balcony when he greeted us and invited us inside, and uh, tragically was framed entirely in shadow with no distinguishing features of any kind. Ah, how unfortunate! But if you're going to face him, surely you could describe him in more detail once we get inside. Oh yes, of course. Yes, Let, let's proceed. Let's proceed yes, to that yes, part of the story. There's, there's not yes. a moment to waste. Waste. <laughs> <laughs> you head on inside, and in front of you stands the figure, covered in shadow. Yet in front, Junior, Junior, welcome to my abode. Indeed, I see you've prepared a proper greeting for us. Perhaps. It is on this field that our fate shall be decided. Of course. He steps back, still in shadow. <laughs> he goes and dons his, uh, his helmet from his armor, and then he returns and steps back. Well then, come and face me in my room. Very well. My arm yourselves, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Buru pulls out a massive shish kebab. <laughs> Show runs over and empties all of these beef bits into a ramen bowl. <laughs> Hideo pulls out uh, pulls out a uh, shady assortment of forks and knives, <laughs> holding them each between his fingers. Junior takes one of those little peelers and sharpens a carrot, affixing it to the end of his nakinata. <laughs> Very well. We know a little bit more about you than you might think, Psycho. I've come prepared, as have we all. Tell me, then. This may be your domain, but we are here to challenge you... We are here to challenge you in kitchen combat. He bursts, he bursts through the paper wall. I challenge you, Sushi Slayer Psycho! Yes, welcome, my greatest rival. <laughs> <laughs> In, his visage was even more fearsome up close. The He's world's ghastly. A bowl lovingly filled with teriyaki, a single nigiri draped across his missing eye. 
his chopsticks swaying in the breeze. <laughs> Indeed, he had outfitted himself for just such an encounter. Hmm. 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 Well, that's that's rather interesting, Jude. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> for what purpose would would Psycho attempt to duel you in this instead of it? It seems quite out of character, perhaps. Cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there is also a long-standing Yoshihara tradition that. We see our story through to the end. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I apologize. I am being quite rude. Please continue in the greatest of, of detail. I assure you, you all will be explained. Yes, now, Psycho, we shall see which of us is the superior chef. Indeed. Yoshihara no Junior, just try not to eat all the food you intend to cook. <laughs> Sweat beads. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, I'll need your help. I'll need your power if I have any chance to defeat him. He is an ancient master of the sushi slicing style. <laughs> yes, of course, it'd be an honor to assist you in the kitchen. I don't know if just us will be enough. With Junior at our side, it should be easy. You're right. Foolish me, losing faith in our lord for even a moment. <laughs> Come, my sous chefs. Let us begin. Psycho himself grabs a bunch of ingredients and just breaks through the, the door on this side and starts rapidly cutting up and making vegetable sushi. All right. He's made a critical error. He's basing his entire gambit on the use of those vegetables, but he's forgotten. Vegetables are seasonal. Meat is eternal. <laughs> Junior, this is all looking very delicious. Yes, indeed. Um, so we began preparing our meal lovingly. It was it was almost indescribable in its radiance. Buru's shish kebab. The bowl of meats. So glistening and juicy that Cho had prepared. Hideo's face. <laughs> <laughs> Ripe with crackling. Perfectly browned. It was... <laughs> it was a truly... A battle for the ages. <laughs> Junior in real life begins almost hyperventilating. <laughs> and when the dish was done, it went straight into my mouth! <laughs> The competition was brought to new heights as I devoured every last piece of food in the room! Brilliant! It's... T it's no use, my friends, to defeat him. We must combine our powers directly. Oh! <laughs> Only my lord could have thought of such a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> you madman! Face you. our combined might, Psycho! Four-armed sushi scattering blow! <laughs> His face starts turning into fish in the middle of this process. His entire body becoming udon. <laughs> but it was too late. In our hubris... We had gone too far for our contest. Legendary as it was, summoned forth something ancient, something primal, something none of us, no mortal eyes should ever have gazed upon. It was the legendary, all-devouring Frog King. <laughs> Suddenly, breaking in through the actual, like, 
back area of the castle, a large, imposing figure is formed. There he is, the great devouring frog himself, bursts in through the door! <laughs> his form, almost too blurred out by his magnificence to see! <laughs> Create the greatest of sushis! <laughs> oh, Psycho, we will have to f face him together if we want any hope of defeating him! Yes, yes, you are right, you are right, Junior! I, in my last moments, I will admit I was wrong, and I shall assist you in defeating the great watching frog! Oh. His color shifts with his mood. He's getting angrier and impatient and hungry. It is a magnificent yellow. Watch out! <laughs> oh! <laughs> he charges in, running in, running just straight at him with his whole swords held high. He charges and he's just immediately gobbled up. <laughs> As he's gobbled up, you see inside of the mouth. Don't worry, Junior. I'm poisonous. <coughs> oh. He will not last much longer. Psycho, my newest, oldest friend. <laughs> as, as he sinks inside. I cannot save you, but I can avenge you! Junya takes out his naginata, carrot still affixed to the end, and begins spinning it in his hands, creating a whirlwind throughout the building. The pieces of food are drawn into this food tornado that blows the doors off their hinges. The whole contents of the tower shaking and writhing and forming a meat and vegetable full course dinner vortex. <laughs> <laughs> the entire tower itself along with Psycho have been permanently destroyed as the frog god is vanquished by the delectable dinner. It devours it all in a moment, stuffed, defenseless. He charges in for the decisive blow. You cannot devour this world unless you eat your carrots first! <laughs> <laughs> There's a single cut. He bursts through the wall of the tower, drills through the entire frog beast landing outside as the tower collapses behind him and is drawn into the hungry earth itself. <laughs> and so the story concluded. Indeed, I learned an important lesson that day, that the withholding of food from a hungry man is truly the least beauteous thing in this world. You notice across from you, your cousin is just staring at you with this pock expression. And then, a few single tears start forming up in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. What a sad tale. Junior, I understand now. I understand what you meant. About sadness. About the lack of food. When I was in Hirano, I was robbed of all food besides just simply rice. Salted rice and... Pork and chicken. <laughs> Only such a meal for me while I was at Hirano. Truly, I was starved. And yet, and yet now I've returned. And now I have a new appreciation for our meal. A new understanding of what we are about to eat, what we're about to feast on. Junior, your tale is truly marvelous. Truly, cousin. I believe now that I am older and wiser that we experience such suffering that we may recognize joy. Yes, I agree. Now, enough dawdling. The food will get cold if we do not eat it soon. Let us go, Junior. Let us feast. B <laughs> 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 uh, he goes... That, 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 around the... Let us... Let, dude, he's gone. <laughs> 
He runs over. He joins Junya and eats a lot more calmly. Uh, the maid goes over to the other one. He was salivating. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I knew it. Junya just loves food so much. <laughs> what a charming man. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Um... <laughs> Oh, but he's going to so much. I truly think that he's really trying his best. What with all the responsibilities, I'm glad he can find time to do things he enjoys. Yes, yes. They both just kind of nod sagely, watching Junya with a great smile on his face and a few ravenous eyes devouring an entire cherry pie. (laughs) 